Hello, Eduardo. Mr. Eduardo, how's it going? Hello, Eduardo. Guys, can you hear me? Oh, Eduardo, you're muted. That's why that's why I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. What's up? What's up, my uh, Jimmy, Marco, Luis? How was your day, guys? How was your day? I'm sorry. How was your day, Luis? My day, my day is very good. Um, my day my, was very good. My my day was very good. All right. Good job, man. All right. So, um, did you? Hey, how are you? How are you training people with this coronavirus situation, Luis? Like, como 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 entrenas a las personas ahora, like? We have the coronavirus. Luis. Excuse me, uh, I can hear you. Uh, I can hear you. Oh yeah, okay. So I was asking you, how do you, how do you coach people with uh, this situation of coronavirus? Um, I. Um, I, I am uh, training the, the, that exercises to to um, uh -huh. it, um, fortalecer el sistema inmune. Como, oh, like, okay, to fortify the to fortify immune, system. immune system. Uh, oh, okay. Exercises uh, like that. Um, All right. Bread, bread technical bread. Uh, technique and chi or energy, and, and so on. All right, all right, sounds good. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> all right, guys, remember if you have if you have noise, if you have a strong noise in the background, please mute yourselves, okay? All right, so really good, guys, really good. Uh, let's see, uh, Melvin, how was your day, sir? Good evening. It was good, teacher. A lot of work, but good. Yeah. What is it that you do for a living? Oh, I'm a marketing consultant. Oh, you're a ma and marketing consultant. Consultant, and I I work with uh with clients in in chat by email, in cell phone, and, and face to face. I don't know. Okay, all right. So, okay, that's awesome, man. What about you, Rocio? Welcome. So, how are you, Rocio? Hello, how was your day? Uh, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hey, okay. I like your background because it's it looks natural, you know. <laughs> yes. The background that you have that you have looks natural. It doesn't look like, you know, okay. that it's a virtual background. Except that you're like, <laughs> kind of like jaggy, you know. <laughs> do, do you know what jaggy? Jaggy, guys, do you know what Jaggy is? Jaggy? Jaggy no, is when, cuando tenés, ya viso, ya viso que cuando las cosas están en baja resolución, que tenés como ese efecto de gradita en las líneas, en las líneas de, mm -hmm. all right? So that's Jaggy, okay? So when you look like that, it's like, because you have a very, very virtual background. So tell me, how was your day? Uh, my day is a little, bueno, <laughs> a little hard, because uh, all day I have a, a meeting and training training okay you have a meeting and a training okay, okay. hey that's that's awesome okay but you know at least you got you got something interesting to do right uh what about you karen melendez all the way from uh from italy all right so how are you karen melendez hi how hi. is venice hi. how is venezia uh, yes yes um, productive day with a lot of work. Okay, it was a productive, repeat guys, productive day. Productive, productive day. day. Okay, beautiful guys. So guys, uh, we're gonna start with the, we're gonna start with the class right now, guys. Welcome everybody, uh, people who just came in, uh, Jorge, uh, Melvin, Jacqueline, nice to see you, Jacqueline, Gabriel Armas. Juan Francisco, Carla, Eduardo. All right, so everybody, welcome. And uh, thank you for being here, okay? 
All right, guys, so we're going to continue from where we left off yesterday. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, is, uh, I don't understand the solution of exercise 2.2.1. Oh, don't worry. We're going to go through them right now, actually, okay? All right, guys, so we were discussing uh, cannibals versus non-cannibals, right? So we finished that, guys, and I told you to finish this. So we're going to solve the... We're gonna solve the exercise right now, guys, and then uh, yeah. we're we're gonna we're gonna jump into expressions of quantity, okay? And then we're gonna move on to to uh, number three. Now, guys, cannibals. Uh, so let's do number one. What is the answer for number one, guys? Parking. What is it? Parking. Repeat, guys. Parking. 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 Right. Beautiful. Okay. Parking. Now, guys, why? So this this is which of the following options is not a count noun? Why is parking not a count noun? Me teacher, I want you to explain it to me. Me teacher. All right, tell me. Yeah, go for it. Tell me. Hello. All right, I don't know what happened there. All right, yesterday, oh. guys, yo les dije una palabra. Les dije, defíname una palabra que es un non-cannibal. ¿Quién se recuerda? Non-singular. Non very good. Plural, right? Very plural. Good. plural, right? So, guys, si no, no tiene plural. Si no tiene no plural, plural. Exactly. If there is no plural, then it's it's what? Cannibal or non-cannibal? Cannibal. Non-cannibal, no, no, no plural. Non-cannibal, right? So, pause, guys. Can I say two bosses? Yes or not? No. Yes. Guys, yes. can I say two bosses? Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, buses, guys. Yes. Yes. Do, yes. Do buses, yes. Buses, right? Say buses. Exactly. Buses. Can I say subway sub, subway lines? Yes. Yes, yes. yes right? Okay, it's, it's countable. So, so, the is, so the answer is parking. Good job. So number two, guys, who has the answer for number two? Water. Me, teacher. All right, guys, let's let's play a little game, okay? Before we continue, all right? Veo mucha gente callada todo el tiempo, guys, all right? Yo trato de, de ser que participe todos, pero necesito gente loca, all right? Like, like, my teacher, like crazy, all right? And I always have the same people, which is okay, guys, all right? It happens, okay? But I want you to be, repeat, guys, whistleblowers. Whistleblowers. All right. Whistle significa... Pito o pitar, guys, okay? Blower significa soplar, right? So this is like sopla, sopla pitos, right? But it doesn't mean what you think it means, okay? It means, guys, it means this is this is an actual phrase. Esta, esta frase de verdad que existe en inglés, right? It means ponedero, po right? Oh, right? my God. It's someone, all right? But, but don't translate it because, like, whistleblower, right? Sopla pito significa ponedero in the Estados Unidos. You got it? All right? Yeah. So... Okay. Very good, guys. So, now, I want you to say, hey, you know, I think uh, Jocelyn has been too quiet, for example, right? So, you have to be the whistleblower. Got it? All right, voy a venir, te voy a preguntar, Marco, ¿quién ha estado bien callado? Y vos vas a decir, ah, I don't know, uh, Jorge, right? Ahí vos vas a ser el poner, right? Okay. So I want you to be the whistleblower, right? All right, good job, guys. All right, so, uh, number two, all right? Me, teacher, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, hey, Jocelyn, welcome. <laughs> well, uh, All right, nice to see you. Tell me, number uh, number two. Um, is water good? Water. And uh, air. Air. Okay, guys, a lot of people mispronounce this. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. You did a very good job. Uh, guys, repeat. Wood. 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 All uh, right, you say some people are saying good guys, okay, with G. You're saying good. This is not wood, guys. It's the sound of a everybody say ooh, 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 ooh. Wood. All right. Wood. This is called the monkey sound. Okay. Uh, ooh. Ooh, 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 right? Ooh, 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 ooh. Wood. Repeat it. Wood. 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 All right. Say it, Jocelyn. Good. No, you're saying good. Repeat. Wood. 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 Uh -uh. All right. Don't say good. God, 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 God. It's not, it's not like that, okay? It's 
Es el sonido de, guys, es el sonido de la U. Es como una doble U. Say it, Jocelyn. No, it's not good. Okay. You got to practice that sound, Jocelyn. Don't worry, okay? I'll post it, Jocelyn, guys. Okay. All right, uh, Jocelyn. So, who has been quiet? You're the whistleblower today. Um, Karen. Okay, Karen. Beautiful. Yeah. Right? Okay. Right. Ella te puso el dedo. Good job. No quiero, no quiero ser cesañoso, pero te puso el dedo, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> Just Wait, kidding. But there are some, some book of some nouns. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. okay. Book. Very good. Okay, good job. Applause. Good job. All right. Uh, now, you're going to be the whistleblower. Uh, pick someone who has been quiet. Oh, Lino. Lino, let's go, Lino. <laughs> hey, Lino, where are you? Is Lino here? Hello, Lino. Hello, Lino. Hello, Lino. Lino, where are you? Is Lino here? No, you gotta pick what? someone from the class. I, I don't think Lino's here. Yeah, he's not here. Pick someone. He's pick not so here. Yeah, he's not here. So pick someone who has been quiet. Five, four, three. Oh my God. All right, Karen, number four, Karen. Um, the bus, the bus is called, Buses. Uh, Remember? All right. Rapper's out. Uh, uh, uh. The buses. 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 The bus costs too much volume because they are all. All right. Repeat, guys. The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. Beautiful. All right. All right, Karen, pick someone who has been quiet. You're the with the whistleblower now. Jorge. All right, Jorge. Let's go, Jorge. Number five. Uh, we there too much traffic. Yeah, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. All right, no kumas. Repeat, guys. Why is there too much traffic? Why is, Why is there, is there too, too, much? too much traffic? All right, choose one of the answers here. Because there are too many cars. Okay, because there are too many cars. Repeat, because there are too many cars. Because, because there, there are too many, many cars. cars. Too many cars. <laughs> okay, so these are the answer for this, guys. Beautiful, 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 right? All right, guys, so we're going to take a look at the expressions on quantity. So do me a favor, guys, and I want everybody, guys, I want everybody with your notebooks right now. Hold on, guys. I think we saw this already. No, no, no. We haven't seen this yet, guys. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, bring out your notebooks, guys. Okay, everybody, show me your notebooks. Show me your notebooks. All right, all right, all right, all right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Gabriel Arma, can I see your notebook, sir? Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys, so let's take a look at expressions of uh, quantity here, okay? So help me read the first example. Jimmy. There are, too ma there are too many cars in the city. There are too many cars in the city. Very good job, okay? Now, guys, what do you think is the, sp the expression of quantity here? Too many. too many. Too many. Very good. Too many. Write, it down, write it down in your notebook, okay? Too many. We got too many. Very good. All right. Good job, man. Uh, Jimmy, be the whistleblower. Pick someone who's been quiet. Okay. Let me. We need more people. Need... Transportation. Lisbeth Urbina. All right. Lisbeth Urbina. Thank you. Yes, I agree. All right. Liz. <laughs> All right, Hello. help me read the second example and identify the expression of um, of quantity. The second. We need more public transportation. Repeat, guys. Public. 
Public. Public. Public. Uh, right? Eminem sound. Uh, uh, uh. Public. Right? Public. 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 Jimmy sound. All right. Public transportation, right? So where is the um, where is the expression of quantity here? More. 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 Good job. More. Next one, okay? I'm just gonna pick guys because of the time, so I need to hurry. Uh, Blanca, Blanca Ruth, okay? Uh, help me read the next one. Go. There is too much pollution. Beautiful job. Okay, guys, re repeat. Rapper sound. How do we read this? Much. 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 Everybody, much. 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 All right, beautiful. Much. beautiful. Much. All right, so where is the expression of quantity here? Too much. Too much. much. Too much. Too much. Beautiful. All Too much. right, uh, Emperatriz. Hello, Emperatriz. All right, help me read the, the last one, Emperatriz. Uh, my city needs more police officers. Repeat, guys. Police officers. Oh, police. Police, police officers. officers. All right, and the expression is more, okay? More. All right, guys. Uh, did you write them down? Yes? No? Yes. All right, beautiful, yes. beautiful. All right. Okay, then. So let's get into the grammar. All right. So, Jocelyn, all right. Jocelyn, help me read all the examples <coughs> with count nouns. There is too much traffic. There, there is too much traffic. Okay, right? No, yeah, I did nouns. some blood. Uh huh? No. Uh -huh. The, the first part, the, just the first part. And the okay. others. The, the first part, the this one right here. Can you see the circle? Can you see what I'm circling in right now? All right. Ah, there are too many uh, cars. Uh, another example. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Continue with the second one. Uh, there shall be fewer cars. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. All right. All right. Just stop there. Thank you. Very good. Applause to Joseph, guys. Good job. All right. So, guys, we saw this. We saw this yesterday, guys. All right. Now, guys, do you know what the expression of opinions are? Now, let me ask you something, guys. Regarding these right here, do you have a question? Because we saw this yesterday, guys. I need to move on. But no. if you have a question, I'll explain it to you. No. No questions? No. Is it clear? All right. Now. There is something that I do need to explain here, okay? So every time they use too many, fewer, more. All right, more. I explain more. this, okay? Or enough or not enough, not right? Enough. All right, all of these are going to be used with countable nouns, right? So we saw that yesterday. Yes? Yes, yes, yes? All right. Yes. So now. Yeah. Now, these right here, guys, okay, more and enough can be we use with both, with both. But these here, guys, too much, all right, uh, and and uh, too much, guys, and because um, you can you can say you can say, well, yeah, and less, guys. This can only be used with non-countable nouns, okay. All right, so that's what we saw yesterday, guys. All right, beautiful. Do you have any question regarding that, guys? Or can we move on? Can we move on? All right, so if you don't have any questions, guys, excellent, okay? Le puedo hacer un examen y sacan diez todos. Yes? Yes, yes, yes? All right. All right, guys, so uh, real quick, guys, just a quick practice, okay? You're going to answer this, okay? All right. What do you think about the traffic situation in El Salvador? All right. So you can answer like this, okay? You can come up with something like, all right, I think uh, there are too many, many cars. Okay, there are too many cars. I remember, guys, there are can only be used for countables, okay? There are significa hay, pero para plural, okay? Just just uh, write this down in your notebook, guys, okay? All right, let me change color here. Oh. Okay, I think there are two, uh, there are, all right, 
there are these are for uh, cannibals. Too many cars. I think there are too many cars which contribute to pollution in El Salvador. Uh, I uh, then then you can say also another answer. Another answer would be, I consider. I consider uh, that there is too much traffic because there are too many cars. Okay, so if you notice here, guys, am I combining the two sentences or not? That I'm, am I combining two types or not? What do you think? In the sentence uh, B, guys. Guys, estoy combinando ambas aquí. Si se fijan, digo, estoy combinando there is too much traffic. Estoy combinando un non-cannibal con un cannibal. Considero que hay mucho tráfico porque hay muchos carros en El Salvador. Got it? I consider that there is too much traffic because there are too many cars in El Salvador. Yes? All right. So give me an example of that, guys. This is going to be your question. What do you think about the traffic situation in El Salvador? Do you have any question? Questions, questions, questions? Uh -huh. No questions, All right? Let's practice, guys, and let me hear you. Let's go. Hi. Awesome, guys. Let me hear you practice. Hello, Jocelyn. Hey, you got my sister's name, and you did you did your your hair, right? My hair. Yes. Why? Cause it's like 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 very um. How do you go? Very straight. Oh. Oh. All right, let me hear you. Let me hear you guys. Uh, Carla, um, question is, and uh, what do you think about fashion in El Salvador? And uh, I think uh, there are uh, many cars, and the people is. All right, remember, guys, people, is it singular or plural? Plural. Plural. So you say people are. People are. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Fewer. Fewer street. You or oh, few. Fewer street. Uh, mm -hmm. Less. There are. Less? Mm -hmm. No comfortable. Street? Yeah, you can say streets, okay? But I, guys, I need you to talk with fluency, right? All right, uh, I don't want you to be doing any exercises right now. Just talk. Talk, 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 talk. I okay. think there are too many cars. They are all in um, less streets. Mm -hmm. Okay, and... For me, the traffic is is very hard. Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. Hey, let me hear you talking, guys. I don't hear you. Hi. One uh, problem, audio. Oh, you're having issues with the audio. Okay. All right. Uh, Juan is having issues with the audio. All right. So you you practice with him, okay? Uh, let let Juan. Fix the, the issue with the problem that he has. I'll be right back. Because there, there are too many cars. Sandra? Okay. Uh, many cars in many buses. Buses that are in a bad statement, I think. 
is the correct word. So that um, contribute. Um, no Spanish. Contributes. Okay, contribute. Mm -hmm. So uh, the traffic is our uh, big problem in our country. Okay, good job. You're very fluent, uh, Jacqueline. Good job. Thank you. Jose, let me hear you. Oh, it's raining. There is too, too much traffic in the city. Okay, there is too much traffic in the city. Why? All right, do me a favor, Jacqueline. I think you understood pretty well. Uh, if he, okay. If he has any, any, do me a favor. You're very good, okay? So I want you to help him, okay? Because I think he's struggling okay. a little bit, right? So if okay. he has a question about, uh, you know, cannibals versus non cannibals right now, just help him out. Uh, so, Jose, I needed to continue talking, and uh, Jacqueline is going to correct you, okay? Yes. All right, good job. Okay. Traffic, uh, angry, uh, boring, um, um, uh, with, with all the problems in your mind, and, and then uh, the conflict is together in the traffic. What? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> in my, in my answer. <laughs> Oh my God! Did you did did you did you fight with someone? No, uh, almost, almost, almost. Almost. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, but but no, 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 almost. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, all right. I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with you, man. Okay, so if I ever bump into your car, all right, don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's good, man. Good story. Right? Continue, guys. In, in more cheap, I think. There is yeah. a, a, I don't know. Teacher. Tell me. We talked about the, the new service of, I don't know, of, of delivery. Uh -huh. uh, like uh, you go Uber in driver. Uh -huh. And there are increase in the... And the truck. And what? before we don't we don't have any service like that. Oh, before you didn't have any service like that. Uh huh. Really? Oh uh -huh. yes, yes. You know it's it's funny because uh, cause I hadn't I hadn't driven in a while due to due, due to being inside the house, but now I had to go to the bank, and dude, there's too much traffic out out there. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Like you, you wouldn't expect that much traffic after not having the students going to the, you know, to school, right? But traffic is very, very, very heavy right now out there. Yeah. So, right now, yeah, yeah. yeah like, like now. In, in the, uh, and, and the culture of the bus driver and the not uh, fat uh, the the. In the lanes, around, yeah, uh -huh. lanes. Wow. Okay, those are right. lanes, lanes, lanes. Las right. la vías, las vías son lanes. Yeah, right. So lanes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, man, that's true. They they don't respect it. Like it's it's crazy, man. All right, we're gonna head back, guys. Now, very good uh, practice. So thank you very much. Let's go. All right, guys. Beautiful. Nice practice, guys. Uh, so beautiful, beautiful job. One clap for you guys. All right, all right. Matar un mosquito. Good job. All right, guys. So let's ex let's go with exercise two point five. Uh, number one. Me teacher, go. Me teacher, who wants to do number one, guys? Uh, Which is correct? Okay. Yeah. I have I'm sorry. There aren't too many police 
officer in my city. Beautiful job. There aren't. Repeat, guys. Aren't. Aren't. Okay. Aren't. Nice. Beautiful. No. Jacqueline. All right. Number two, Jacqueline. Second. Okay, there, there, oh. there is so much traffic, so the government needs to buy uh, uh, more highways. More yeah. highways, okay. Right. I'm sorry, Blanca, you have a question. I'm sorry. Excuse me, uh, number one is a second. This one? There okay. No police officer in my city. Good job, okay. Ah, uh, number two, more highways. Good job, Jacqueline. So, okay, all right. Uh, there is too much traffic, so the government needs to build more highways. Good job. Now, repeat, guys. Build. 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 All right. Build. Which one is correct? Yeah. Number number three. Uh, let's see. Jimmy. Oh. Jimmy the rapper. <laughs> Jimmy, right, I'm kidding. Me. All right. <laughs> Jimmy, number three, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> number three, number three. Uh, there is too much pollution in my city. There is too much pollution in my city, okay? There is. There is. Oh, there is too much pollution in my city. No, like the third one, right? Gabriel Armas, number four, Gabriel. Uh, yes. Please, this statement I can't sleep at night. There should be uh, too much noise. There should be too much noise. Are you sure, guys? Who disagrees? Who disagrees? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. All right. Uh, say your name, guys. Say your name. Cause I, Luis. I don't know. Luis. Luis, all right. So which one do you the think answer is, is? The answer is, is, is the one. All right, less noise, okay? Yes. Very good. Yes, guys, because it says, I can't sleep. So I can't. I cannot sleep, right? I can't. I think it should be, like, more quiet. Guys, do me a favor. Si tienen el pirulay, si tienen el tele, ahí a Don Francisco con todo, pónganse mute, por favor, right? All right, thank you. Uh, now, number five. Who wants to go for number five? More. Sandra. Uh, All right, Sandra, let's go, Sandra. Okay. So what do you think is the answer for number five? More. More, okay. All right, so let's go with more. And let's bring out the answers. Very good, guys. You got a 10. Beautiful. One clap for you. Woo! Good job. All right, guys. Okay, guys. So, um, so by tomorrow, guys. Uh, no sé, guys, si ya ha terminado todos la, en la sección 2, pero para antes de la clase mañana, todo el mundo tiene que haber terminado esta sección por completo. Porque mañana vamos a empezar la sección 3, guys, okay? We're going to have to go with section 3. Now, guys, I need okay. everybody with their notebooks right now, todo el mundo con sus cuadernos, ahorita, please. All right, because this, this is a very important topic. All right, let me just... Fast forward it. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> All right, beautiful job, guys. So, what is the topic for today, Marco Bada? Ona. So, Marco, what's the topic? Indirect question from WH questions. Very good job, guys. Indirect questions from WH questions. So now, guys, what do you think an indirect question is? You can say indirect or you can say indirect. Both are correct. Where are? Uh, so what, um, do you, what do you think an indirect question is, Blanca? Where is the bank? Okay. Okay. Where are the restrooms? Guys, okay, very good, very good. Thank you for reading the examples. Very good job. Now, Blanca, can you help me read? The second part, okay, this part right here. Uh, uh, could you tell me where the bank is? Okay. Do you know where the restrooms? No, I can't see the last one. Where the are. restrooms are. Very good. Applause for Blanca, guys. Good job, Blanca. 
Beautiful. A hey, applause for you guys. Come on. All right. All right. So, guys, I'm going to give you a very cool example about what that is, okay? So, for example, all right, how many times, guys, all right, this is for the girls, okay? <laughs> and, guys, this is for you when you, when you call, like, when, when you say something like, do you know what? Tenes escuela. Do you know what that means? A gym. Tenes escuela con la chela. Do you know what that is? Que tenes escuela. You know what that means, guys? Yeah, yeah, you know. Okay, very good. Now, guys, okay. This is the thing, guys. A direct question, okay? So I need a, I need a, I need a, uh, a girl volunteer. Volunteer. I need a girl. Volunteer. Me, teacher. Who? Me, who? teacher. Who? Jacqueline. Is Jackie. that Jacqueline? All right. So Jacqueline. So a direct question from my, from my guy would be this, okay? Do you have a boyfriend, okay? All right, so this would be a direct okay. question, all right? But okay. how many times, how many times has a guy asked you this question, but not directly? How do they ask, how do they usually ask this question? So many times. Okay, many times, right? But how do they ask, how do they ask it indirectly? ¿Cómo te lo preguntan indirectamente? Can I say in Spanish? Uh, no, you cannot say it in Spanish. You have to say it <laughs> Okay. Um, well, why do you are so lonely? Okay, all right. Okay, but why are you so lonely? Okay. All right, this is a direct question too, okay? So now, if I want to ask you, do you if, if somebody wants to ask you if you have a boyfriend, okay? They will come up with, uh, van a ir con escuela, right? Right? Ya han oído, hey, pero es que se va a enojar tu novio. Ah, no tengo, right? So that's, that's indirect, guys, okay? So see? That's what I okay. want to come up with, all right? <laughs> so that will be an indirect question. Now, if you want to transform this, guys, okay? You could say, could you, all right? Could you tell me, all right? This is the question part, okay? Write it down, okay? This is the question part, all right? So could you tell me, all right, uh, if you, now, how could you say this? Could you tell me if, do you have a boyfriend? What do you think is correct, guys? Okay, I'm going to give you a little quiz here. Could you tell me if, do you have a boyfriend? All right, hold on. Could you tell me if, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, letter B, could you tell me if, um, you have a boyfriend? Or could you tell me, could you tell me, um, if do you have a boyfriend? So what do you think is correct, guys? A, B, or C? A. 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 No, guys, the correct one is letter B. B. It's B, guys. Okay. Good job. Yes, guys, okay? Now, this is called an indirect, indirect question, guys. Prácticamente, guys, what's that the same? Hey, uh, ¿tenés novio? All right, eso sería una pregunta directa. Pero la otra, pero una indirecta, guys, sería, no, o sea, una indirecta es haciéndolo con una frase uh, que lleva, que lleva, o sea, la, la frase llevaría, podrías decirme si tenés novio, right? Um, so that transforms it into an indirect question. All right. So let's take a look at another example. Give me another WH question. Uh, let's see. Me teacher, anyone? Me teacher, me teacher, me teacher. I need a WH question, guys. Alguien que me dé una WH question. Cualquier WH question. Me teacher, where? All right. Jocelyn, good job, Jocelyn. Uh, where? Where what? Where? Where? All right, give me a question. You have to, you have to give me a question. All right, ask me a question, okay? Ask, mm. ask me a question. Where did you, um, where did you walk? Where, what? Where you walk? Mm -hmm. In the morning. Okay, where do you, where, where do, do you, you go you? to walk? <laughs> In the morning, okay? Good job. Okay. All right, guys. So now, 
Is this a direct or indirect question? Good job, Joseph. Direct. Direct. Direct question, right? Very good. Now, ahora le queremos poner flores, right? Let's, let's, oh. let's. All right, vamos a hacer la de la escuela, right? So how can you ask me this with an indirect question? El truco, guys, para hacerme una pregunta que okay. sea indirecta, all right? Es ponerle, could you, could you tell me? What else, guys? What else? Where? Do you know, all right, do you know where, all right? Uh, can you tell me? Me podría decir, me, me, me puedes decir, sabes a qué hora es, right? Do you know what time, okay? Do you know what time? Do you know when? Do you know when, all right? So in this case, guys, that she's, she's using where. ¿Cuál de estas podrían usar ustedes para hacer la indirecta? Si ella me queda preguntar, ¿dónde vas a caminar en la mañana? That's right. Ni, ni piernas tengo, no puedo caminar, right? Just kidding, guys, right? <laughs> All right, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, guys, tengo, tengo una máquina para hacer ejercicio aquí en la casa. No All right, um, so, so if, if she asks me this, guys, which of these, which of these uh, starters, guys, could be used for an indirect, indirect question? ¿Cuál de esos me usarían para una indirect question? Mi teacher. Can you tell me? Very good job, okay. Who said that? Jackie. Oh, Jackie, right? Can you tell me, okay? Can you tell me what, guys? What do you want to tell me? Now, now, guys, this is very tricky. In Espanol, guys, in Spanish, people make a lot of mistakes this because people say, can you tell me where uh, do you go to walk in the morning? Is this correct, guys, or incorrect? What do you think? Could can you tell me where do you go to work in the morning? Uh, incorrect. Incorrect. I think it is incorrect, guys. Okay, guys. The reason why is this. Okay. Now, guys. Can you tell me where you if, go? If I start with can you? All right. Can you tell me? Is this a question or is, is this not a question? Is it or is it not a question? It's a question. It's a question. Yes, yes a guys. It is a question. Okay. So we're gonna call these guys, okay? We're gonna call this the question part, okay? All right. Ponele que eso se llama la parte de la pregunta, okay? So we're gonna, so this is gonna be the question part, okay? So can you tell me now, if I am already asking a question, guys, I repeat, guys, I do not have to ask the question again, repeat. I do not have to I ask the question again. I, I, I do not have to ask the question again. Okay, guys. So if I say, guys, if I already have, can you tell me that's, is that a question? Yes or not? Yes or not? Can you yes. tell me? Yes. Yes. yes, okay? Yes. Because yes. according to the structure, the auxiliary goes first. And what is the auxiliary? What is the auxiliary here? Can. Can. Very good job. If I say do, do you know? Is this a question or is this a, is this a sentence? It's a question. It is a question. Okay, so far so good. De esta parte quiero que se, que se, que se recuerden, guys, okay? So now, está incorrecta, guys, porque vos no puedes hacer una segunda pregunta. Si yo escribo esto, can you tell me, uh, what was the question? Can you tell me? Where, where do you, where do you, do you, where do you live? Okay. All right. So where do you live? Is this a question or not? Yes. Yes, yes. yes guys. Yes. Entonces, guys, ¿cuántas preguntas tengo aquí? Si vos me dijiste que esto era una pregunta, okay? All right. First, question one, right? If this is question one, all right? Si vos me dijiste que esto es una pregunta, entonces, ¿qué es esta parte? ¿Qué es la segunda parte? I'm sure. Question two, all right? Me está haciendo... Me está haciendo dos preguntas bajo una misma pregunta, Gary, por eso está incorrecto. Do you understand? So now, entonces, ¿qué haces? Se recuerdan, guys, en, en presente simple, right? All right, guys, se recuerdan en presente simple. ¿Cómo, cómo harías? Esa es una pregunta, ¿dónde vivís? Pero, ¿cómo lo haces una, cómo lo transformas en, en una oración? ¿Cómo lo harías en una oración? How would you make this uh, 
where you live, right? Very good, okay? Okay, so these would be where you live, okay? Got it? So is this a sentence or is this a question now? It's a sentence. It's a sentence, guys, okay? All right, so you got the question here and then you got the sentence. All right, you got the sentence over here. Got it? Ahora sí les, sí les, sí tiene sentido? Does it make sense now? Mm -hmm. All right, so question plus sentence, okay? Equals, okay? Indirect question, okay? O ponerle ahí, pregunta con escuela. All right, got it, guys? Got it, got it, got it? All right, beautiful. All right. So, can you tell me where you live? Podría, puedes decirme dónde vivís, all right? Morro, all right? <laughs> You don't see how many is more, right? All right, it sounds like that, guys. Okay, guys, so let's practice, guys, okay? Now, I want everybody to give me an example using these phrases. Ya le tomaron screenshot, guys? So, ¿le escribió en su cuaderno? Yes, no? Yes. All right, beautiful, yes. right? Siempre envíenlo al grupo, guys, para que quien ahí no, no tenga manos uh, lo pueda ver, right? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I know that you have hands. All right. So uh, let's play again, guys, okay? Super, super quick, all right? So you're gonna use these phrases, guys, okay? So you're gonna, uh, I'm gonna ask you a direct question and you're gonna answer with an indirect question, okay? What are you gonna do, guys? Emperatriz, what are you gonna do? Uh, a question uh, with uh, indirect and answer di direct, uh, two, two, one question and, and one you, response. Okay, you will transform it into an indirect question, okay? Lo va a transformar a una pregunta con escuela. Got it? All right, beautiful, guys, okay? So, for example, if I say, um, do you do you have a mom? Emperatriz, do you have a mom? Um, All right, I'm going to yes, give you five. I have. Yes. No, you're going to transform it into a, a indirect question. So you're going to say, could you, all right, what would be the indirect question of do you have a mom, guys? Could you, you tell, tell me you have a mom? Have okay, a mom. could you tell me, all right, all right, if um, you have a mom or could you tell me, yeah, if you have a mom, all right? Good job, okay? Or can you tell me uh, if you have a mom? Got it, guys? Do we understand what we're going to do right now? Yes? Okay, beautiful. Yes. All right, guys. Okay, so let's get started. Melvin. All right. Do you have a computer? Yes, I have a computer. Ah, uh -uh, sir. Indirect question, right? Guys, <laughs> me tienen que decir la forma de indirect question, no responderme, okay? okay? All right, Melvin, do you have a computer? Um. Five, four, three, two. Melvin, no point right now. Okay, uh, Liz, Liz, um, Liz, uh, do you have a do you have a restroom in your house? Five, four, three, two, one. I'm thinking that's an email. These are okay, right? Too slow. Marco, all right. Um, do you do you know? Well. Uh, where is where is the bank, Marco? Where is the bank? Do you know what is the bank? Ah, uh -uh, guys, that's two questions. Okay, the answer is, do you know where the bank is? Repeat, everybody. Do you know where the bank is? Do you know, know where the bank is? All right. Remember, guys. Do you know? Is it a question or is it a uh, or is it a sentence? Do you know? Do you know? So, yo digo, do you know? Am I asking something or am I giving you a sentence? It's a question. It's a question. Okay. Do you know? Now, if I say where, if I say where is the bank, is that a question or a sentence? It's question. a question. question. All right. It's a question. Me dice, all right. So, Marco, el error fue que me hiciste dos preguntas, okay? Do you know and where is the bank, okay? So, okay. in this case, guys, you have to say, do you know where? All right where the bank is okay yes. all okay. right so that will be the right answer okay so no point for for you right now melvin all right redemption time 
All right, okay. Kelvin. Um, so take a look at the examples, okay? Take a look at the examples, okay? And answer the questions. Do you know, do you know, uh, what time, what time do you go to the gym at? Or what time um, do you go to the gym? At what time do you go to the gym? Okay, okay. are you exercise? Yeah. Do you, do okay. you exercise? Ah, okay, you have to transform it into a, a, a direct question, okay? Oh. What, at what time do you go to the beach? I mean, do you go to the gym? Uh. When you tell me when you go to the gym. Very good, applause for Melvin, guys. Beautiful, man, beautiful, right? One point, man, okay. right. Please, okay, please. Um, so can you tell me, uh, well, actually, you know what? At what time do you cook? Can you tell me where you cook? Ah, uh -uh, incorrect. Okay. Who wants to try it, guys? At what time do you cook? Who wants to try it? Me, teacher. So I want you to transform this question, guys. At, do you know what time do you cook? At what time do you cook? Okay. Right. Do you know what? Do you know what time? What time? Very good. Uh, you, the cook. You cook, guys, the cook. okay? Uh, beautiful job. Applause, guys. Beautiful, beautiful job, okay? All right, guys. I think you need more practice, guys, because you're not answering very quickly, okay? So do me a favor, guys. Everybody, all right? I think that you understood this part, but not so much this part, okay? So now, guys, take a look. Take a look at the bold letters. The bold letters, guys, guys is what's in negrita, okay? Lo que está en negrita, okay? So take a look at this, guys, okay? All right, so if I ask you guys, let's take a look at this example. If I ask you... Uh, I have a question, please. Go for it. Tell me, go for it. Okay, um, in... in... In the last sentence, in, in the right question, do you know when fly? Uh, in this case, uh, are there two questions? Do you know when fly? No. No. Because, because if you need two questions, you will say you would say when do. When do the uh, fly? Uh, okay, got it. So it doesn't see. have an auxiliary. Okay, so if there is no auxiliary, that's not a question, right? Mm -hmm. But the okay, good question, okay. man. Good question, right? So, okay. So, who wants to try this? When did you go to church? Mm -hmm. Everybody, I need everyone to tell me, to send me your answer, guys. All right. Si yo no veo tu nombre en el chat, guys, con tu respuesta de esto, no te puedo decir, okay? When did you go to church, okay? So, transform this into an indirect question, okay? Let's go. I'm, I'm going to wait for your answer, okay? So, I want this one. I want you to tell me, uh, does your dog like uh, junk food, okay? This one. All right, como siempre, vamos a hablar de Cheyenne, right? All right, so does Cheyenne, all right, like Shakira? Actually, you know what? In the past, we're going to do it a little bit more difficult. Did Cheyenne like Sha Shakira, all right? So these three questions, guys, okay? Answer them in the chat room. All right, so I got Jacqueline. Could you tell me when you go to church? Beautiful answer, Jacqueline. Uh, Jimmy, can you tell me when you go to church? Good job, Jimmy. Rocio, can you tell me when? When, when, gore to church? <laughs> Sorry. All right, that's incorrect. Like the church. All right, but I need the three the three answers, guys. Okay, necesito que responda las okay. tres. All right. Uh, Gabriel, can you tell me when you go to church? Beautiful. Melvin, can you tell me when did you go to the church? Okay, beautiful. Now, that's that's incorrect, then, Melvin, because you're asking me two questions. So, Melvin, quiero que me digas que está incorrecto en tu oración. Me está escribiendo esto, right? You're you're typing this in. 
Can you tell me when did you go to church? What's wrong with that question, Melvin? How many questions are you asking me there? One or two? You said two. Okay. All right. Why you're asking me two questions, man? <laughs> so what is what is wrong here, Melvin? Bless you. Um, uh, can you tell me when you go to the church? Okay, yeah. when you go now, to to the, church, not to that yeah, to church. Okay? Now, the, now, but but guys. Si yo, te, si yo te pregunté en pasado, ¿cuándo fuiste, ¿cuándo fuiste a la iglesia? No, ¿cuándo vas? ¿Cuándo fuiste a la iglesia? ¿Es that in present or is that, is that in present or past, guys? Please again, please. If I ask you guys, can you tell me, can you tell me when, when uh, I'm, I'm sorry, when did you go to church? So, is that, is that present or past? I'm past, present. All right. Now, guys, entonces, en ese sentido, guys, todo el mundo se equivocó porque nadie me lo ha puesto correctamente. Guys, all right, ¿cómo, ¿cuál es el pasado de go? When. When. All right, so what is the right answer? How can you say, uh, when did you go to church in, 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 in an in uh, indirect form? Can you tell me when you went to church? Very good, guys. Can you tell me when you went to church? Good job. Okay, good job, Karen, too. All right, very good. Uh, let's practice more fast. Okay, did, did your dog like junk food? Uh, who can give me the answer for that? Ahora sí, 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 creo que ya saben, guys. So, sweatpants, all right? Jacqueline. Uh, tell me, right? Tell me, Emperatriz, I think you answered your, 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 your asked more question. I, I have a question, teacher. Who, who's um, talking? Oh, Emperatriz. All right, tell Emperatriz. me. Emperatriz. <laughs> uh, in the second, uh, that exercise are two questions, right? But the se my, my question is, in the second question, always... Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm wrong, gonna use the auxiliary in the second question. I'm wrong. I, I, I think your, I think your, your, your question is incomplete. All right. So basically guys, what you have to know, okay, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's raise this. Okay. So every, any question guys, any question can be transformed into an indirect question, ¿ok? Guys, una, una pregunta directa es como en español, o sea, va directo al grano, right? Hey, te moriste, right? Like, that's, that's direct, right? So, hey, uh, me querés, right? Now, pero cuando, cuando una, una pregunta indirecta, en español, que solo ponen en español, nunca, nunca guys piensen en español, pero en ese ejemplo, guys, Solo para que le entiendan, el, para que entiendan el sentido. ¿Cómo me dirías, me querés? Uh, ¿Cómo le dirías, me querés a tu novia, a tu novia? Pero indirectamente. Poniéndole flores, ¿cómo lo dirías? Can you tell me if you love me? Ok, me podría decir si me querés, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese me podría decir, me puede decir. All right, so that's in the red, guys. Got it? All right. So, what if I ask you... Um, how did you learn your English? How did you learn your English? Is this in the present or is this in, is this in past? In past. In the past. All right. So how can you tell me this? How can you tell me this in uh, indirect form? Will you tell me how you learn your English? Very good job. How you learn your English. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Applause for Jacqueline, guys. Good job. Okay, now, uh, Jacqueline, give me another question, Jacqueline. Any question? Direct. A direct, a direct question. Ask me a question. When do you, uh, when do you go to the park? Okay. So she asked me when I went to the park. So, when did you go to the park, okay? Okay, so who wants to transform this into an indirect question? Me, teacher. 
Me teacher. Me teacher. Go, whoever says it, say it first. I don't know who said it first. Quien lo dijo primero? Who said it first? Uh, Melvin. Melvin, right. Melvin. So how, go for it. Uh, could you tell me when you went to the park? Very good. When you went to the park. Good job. That's perfect. A plus for Melvin, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. So does it make sense now? Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Yes, yes right, I got it. it. You got it. All right, guys. So, uh, creo que la mayoría, guys, los que no, do me a favor, guys, watch this video because we got to finish the platform. Y ya saben siempre como tarea, terminen, uh, terminen el ejercicio de hoy, guys. Uh, if you have a question, guys, just hit me up on WhatsApp. Envíe mi mensaje en WhatsApp. Uh, si tiene una pregunta con respecto, no me pregunten la respuesta de, de un ejercicio, guys, because no se la voy a dar. All right? <laughs> All right. Pregúntenme, teacher, uh, ¿Qué tal su día, right? No. Pregúntame, teacher, uh, ¿podría explicarme? Uh, ¿Podría darme otro ejemplo de esto? Or something like that. Got it? I got it. All right. Beautiful, guys. All right, guys. So it's time to hit the sack. Hit the sack, guys. It's an idiom for ir a, ir a dormir, all right? So it's time for hitting the sack, guys. I'm sleepy as hell right now. I will see you tomorrow. Love you all. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you, see you guys. Take care. Oh.